guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, JP, engaging you to another helpful and teacher relevant video. But before that, um, to my subscribers, followers, and viewers, thank you so much for watching and sharing my video. And I hope you all continue doing it so. And if you find this video of mine relevant and are not subscribing yet, please consider subscribing so you get updated with my future uploads. Today in this video guys, I am going to review the basic requirements for teachers from outside the United States to be considered qualified to teach here through a J-1 visa or under the exchange visitor program. So to all our teacher aspirants out there who are planning or looking forward to landing a job here in the United States in the future, this video is for you guys. Please watch this. If you are bringing or holding with you right now your phone, your computer desktop, or your laptop, um, you may go to your browser and type in the search box J1 Visa for Teachers. And once you open that, um, please choose or please click Programs or this part, Program uh, Teacher J1 Visa. And that is going to lead you to the official website of the Exchange Visitor Program. Okay, as you can see inside on the left side, that teacher is just one of the professional categories that this program has or is working with. Okay, then you can also check on the lower side, I mean, at the center part, the basic requirements for teacher. Okay, so. Our review today is going to be based on what this program has stipulated in here. So you can save this page guys and you can review the basic requirements for a teacher anytime and anywhere you like as long as you have the internet connection. Okay, let's begin with number one. The teacher must be teaching in a primary or secondary school in his or her country of nationality. It means that if you are a Filipino teacher, for instance, it is a requirement that you must have a teaching experience in your home country. It is either in a primary or elementary or secondary school or from kindergarten to uh, 12th grade. Okay. On the contrary, if you are teaching without your valid license, without a valid license, or not taking the licensure examination for teacher yet, because we have also teachers like those, they are teaching right now, but they're not taking the licensure examination for teacher yet, I don't think so if you are going to be qualified for this program. Because later on during the licensure or licensing part, um, one of the requirements that will be asked from you is the copy or the proof of your license like your your ID or your writing from your board examination okay so it is a requirement so you cannot just teach here without a valid license number two you must be working as a teacher in your home country at the time of your application I have a couple of relevant reasons why this must be first by the time you are applying or you are already applying for your J-1 visa, that is after you get a job offer from uh, the school district or the school where you are applying here, um, one document that you are, one of the documents that you are going to send to your visa sponsor requires the signature of your present principal or supervisor. So if you don't have someone like your principal or if you are not currently working as a teacher, so it is very difficult for you to look for someone or like your principal to sign your document. Okay. Second, um, once you are already here as an exchange visitor or teacher, um, some, if not all, some of the visa sponsors are asking the teachers um, to 
participate in a cultural activity here in the U.S. that sometimes include or includes the participation of the students or maybe the teachers of your present school in your home country. So it is uh, also difficult for you to perform that if you are not currently working because you are not anymore connected to any schools in your home country. Okay, number three. As a teacher, you must have a degree equivalent to a U.S. bachelor's degree you intend to teach. Remember that you cannot succeed in your online application or you don't get interviewed without your transcript getting evaluated or your TOR getting evaluated because the result of your evaluation guys will dictate on what particular subject area or what subject area you are eligible to apply for and teach here. Okay, let's proceed to number four. You must have a minimum of two years teaching or related professional experience. It means that if you are, for instance, applying for a science teacher here, you must have an experience teaching that particular subject area in your home country. So that is what is meant by related experience. However, if you have just graduated recently, you still have to experience teaching for at least two years in your home country before you will decide to participate in this program. Let's move to number five. As a teacher, you must satisfy the standards of the U.S. states where you will teach. Um, wherever we go, we are always governed with the rules, regulations, norms, and values. And part of understanding or satisfying the standard in the U.S. state where you will teach is understanding that you are only here to teach for at least three or for three to five years. Okay, that is the contract of your J-1 visa. So you have to agree that after the duration of your program, you must return to your home country for two years. And the good thing about that is if you wish to participate to the same program after you return to your home country for two years, then you, you can do it. Okay, So you are still eligible to participate in the same program if you wish to. Let's proceed to number six. As a teacher, you must be also of good reputation and character. That is why, guys, even during the application process, application and hiring process, um, one of the requirements that they are going to ask is your background check. Okay, so it is import important for them to validate or to know whether you have a pending case or have been convicted to any crimes in your home country okay and that is also one of the reasons why even in your online application um you are already asked or you are asked to also attach a letter from your character references that you have mentioned or included in your online application so that is also their way of checking on you as a teacher applicant. Finally, number seven. As a teacher, you must possess sufficient proficiency in the English language. Considering that teaching here in the United States is just like immersing yourself to an environment where the dominant language of the people, especially your students, is English. Hence, during your job interview with your possible U.S. employer, you really have to exhibit your communication skills or display your ability to communicate because it really counts and matters. Okay, those are the basic requirements for teachers from outside the United States to be qualified to teach here through a J-1 visa. And that's all for today, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And 
See you in my next video. Bye-bye.